Backwards delivery. Save the heifer calf. Yeah, tractor and uh, chisel paws up in one of our other sheds, so uh, let's get to it. <laughs> Got this thing all hooked up and ready to go. Took a little longer than expected. We were having a little few issues here, but we're rolling now. Plowed out the waterways so I could mark those, and I uh, did the edges here. So uh, now we just gotta go back and forth for a while here. It's working up pretty well. The ground is just frozen enough where we can be out here. I should be able to get done before noon. I think it'll get greasy then, but we'll see how things go. This field actually got baled yesterday and uh, they were out picking up bales this morning. Had them all out here by the time we got chores done. Then we hooked the chisel plow up and now here I am. Finally got time to video. We actually uh, just bought this chisel plow at an auction from one of the neighbors. Timmerman auction up there. It's an 11 shank. Previously we were using a 9 shank. It was an older one. We were always looking for an 11 shank, and this we got a good deal on this one, so we bought it. It's in pretty good shape still. We didn't need anything too fancy. We uh, this is actually the first field we chisel plowed this year. First corn field. Uh, a lot of the other fields that we chopped, we just ran the finisher through to level it off a little bit, and uh, then we put in some rye. This field had a little uh, compaction issue. I think we uh, planted it when it was a little too wet, but so that's why we're out chisel plowing it right now, trying to break it up a little. If anybody's uh, ask, gonna ask that question, whether we have auto steer or not, no, we don't. On about five and a half to five seven miles per hour here. I'm not quite running it full throttle. We don't really need to. We got a lot of horses under the hood. It's a little overkill for this, but our other tractor is tied up on the baler. It's working really good. It's supposed to get down to uh, negative one on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday next week, so uh, after that there'll be a bunch of frost in the ground, so we won't, won't be able to get anything else plowed up here. This is actually the only field we have to do. But if you're wondering why we don't put a cover crop in, it's because it won't grow. will actually help hold the dirt too. It's a little bit of a slope here, not too bad though. We're gonna leave one down the middle and probably one up on the other side too. Where the auto steer would come in handy because uh, then we wouldn't have this goofy little piece here on the end. We could straighten out our fields but someday we you guys have to drink more milk so milk prices go up. I'm just kidding. Alright guys, so we're about halfway done. I 
figured I'd uh, give you a little walk around to this uh, Google Falls so you can uh, see what we're using here. First off, we got our 8335 on it. This tractor is used primarily on the bagger and it does some tillage work. We got a heavy disc that it usually pulls in the springtime. And obviously we use it on the chisel plow once in a while, but usually the 7260 is on that. So it's got four hydraulic hoses. Uh, one controls the up and down, obviously, and the other controls our uh, hydraulic disc here in the front. It's an 11 shank, it's got the tandems. It also has this leveling bar on the back. This thing comes in really handy. Looks like this spring needs to be tightened a little bit. But uh, this does a really nice job. A couple are bent here. It's just a sign that it's broke in. Anyways, yeah, this does a really nice job leveling it off. And that'll make it nice and smooth. One thing I noticed is in the springtime, these fields will dry out a little quicker than... Uh, as opposed to if you weren't running with these uh, leveling bars on the back. I think it's a Remlinger. Probably says here on the other side here. Yeah, it's Remlinger. It's a little tore off there. Looks like we got some truck tires here. It's not really too big of an issue. Just a little cheaper than the regular implement tires. So yeah, that's the rundown on this. It's a brilliant 11 shank. I'm not even sure what the number is on this thing if it, or if it even has one. It just says brilliant. They're pretty much all the same nowadays. Not a lot of people use uh, chisel plows anymore. We're going about Usually you run about six to eight inches deep. It kind of just depends what you got on it. And what the field conditions are like. If you go too deep, you just do a lot of spinning. That's enough of me talking. We better get back to work. Beautiful day to be out here in the fields. Nice blue sky, sun shining. Getting some work done. Can't complain today.
info the other day in the uh, Seattle Times or whatever, and uh, I'll put the link down below. But anyways, it was basically uh, talking about how it took every size kind of farm to uh, feed the world here. finished up here I'm making the last couple passes here uh, it's a good time to be done it's just getting a little greasy out here stuff starting to stick to the tires pretty much gonna wrap up this video if you like this video be sure to give it the thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel we got a lot of stuff going on here at the farm and I hate for you to miss it subscribing is still free